Devin Booker claims he was going to go to Michigan State before he ended up committing to Kentucky. This comes out. I, I don't know if it's like a documentary or what it is, but there's all these clips of it's Devin um Booker. it's D'Angelo Russell's podcast. Oh well, what whatever they're filming it, it looks really good on video. Like, yeah, it doesn't it's, just it's, look like a podcast. No, so it's like D'Angelo Russell's podcast. It's called Backyard Pod. Um, and he usually goes to like people's cribs, like his teammates' cribs, and literally does the podcast like in their backyard, like he did with AD. So I, what I think this is, is he's at like Devin Booker's like one of his spots, and I think they're just like kicking the shit. And I guess like they got like a golf setup back there, and just like hitting golf balls into the woods. That's sweet. Love it. Yeah, oh. it looks incredible. Uh, Devin Booker, one of my favorite basketball players that I have watched in my life. That was true in high school. It was true in college. It's been true in the NBA. And he claims he was going to go to Michigan State. D'Angelo Russell basically asked him, were you always going to go to Kentucky? And Booker's like, no. D'Angelo was like, oh, yeah, Missouri, right? And he was like, nah, Michigan State. I wanted to go there. That's what what all, all my boys growing up went there. All the dogs I respect went there. And uh, he said he loved Tom Izzo. In the end, he commits to Kentucky. As a Michigan State fan, how hurt are you by this revelation? Uh, I'm not hurt because I hate the whole, like, oh, yeah, I was going to go there. Well, you didn't go there. So, like, I don't really, like, oh, Jabari was going to go there, but he well, well, he didn't. So I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to come on here and say, oh, yeah, I, was se- I play second fiddle to, I don't even know. I play second fiddle to Tom Holland, um, but I didn't end up with Zendaya. Like, I'm not just going to go around saying that. I just, I didn't end up with the girl. Like, it is what it is. You didn't get her. So, like, I, I, it's something fun to run with and be like, oh, look at this. It, I will say this. The one thing I take away from it is I like seeing players talk highly of Tom Izzo. Like, that, that's, that's always a good thing to hear. But at the same time, like, we, we finished second. We didn't, we didn't get him. So, you didn't go there. You went to Kentucky. If we want to, wear that as a badge of honor that's fine i'd rather not yeah yeah i do uh i like i like hearing the candid stories and i believe book that this one's true but it is one of those things that i kind of reach my limit with them sometimes because it feels very armando baycott ish like oh i'm on the podcast i'm gonna just like exaggerate like oh i almost went to duke i was always a duke fan blah 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 yeah okay cool you didn't back it up with any action like Oh, I, I almost started running marathons a couple years ago. Like, no, I didn't. Like, <laughs> it just didn't happen. Like, that's not a fun story to tell. But uh, with that said, Book joins a list of Michigan State misses that could have really altered the trajectory of things here. Uh, Jabari Parker was one. Tyus Jones, Tyler Ulis were others. Devin Booker, notoriously best friends with Tyler Ulis. So I think there there very clearly was a connection here where, like, if Tom Izzo doesn't spend the entire cycle trying to get Tyus Jones, he probably gets Tyler Ulis because Tyler Ulis was kind of the, the second priority. And Tyler Ulis exploded late in the recruiting trail. Tyler Ulis ends up at Kentucky. Devin Booker goes with him. There is a world here where you just get Tyler Ulis early. Devin Booker comes with his friend Tyler Ulis and we're talking about this program completely differently right now. <laughs> who was the, who's the point guard from Michigan that year? Uh, which one? I'm saying like, they, wasn't Michigan in on Booker too? They were in on Booker. It wasn't like a point guard spot though. They wanted him like at the two. They, but, Michigan, oh, they, no, what, what I was saying is like, did they have room for Tyler Ulis? Oh yeah. It's Michigan was the, the hard part for Michigan in that little era. They had just had a downswing. So they had they had the national championship runner up appearance. Then they had the elite eight with Stauskas, and then they tanked because Irvin and Walton got hurt. So and Levert got hurt. So they were trying to get it was Booker and James Blackman Jr. who ended up at Indiana, mm-hmm. um, and there was a third guy I'm not remembering. Maybe like uh, I can't remember who it was. There was a third shooting guard in that mix. Was it was, it, was, it, was he class of 2015? He played at Kentucky in 15. So probably class of 2014. Yeah. I want to find out who that is, but keep going. It was weird time. But I remember Michigan felt very good about Booker. Like, I think he he was very close to committing to Michigan early in the cycle, even though he's not saying that now, so maybe I'm wrong. But Michigan people were reporting they thought Book was going to commit. 
and then he like reopened everything and they they knew they were out once he reopened things. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who that other guy you guys were in on. Because it was Booker, there was uh, Grayson Allen was in that class as a shooting guard. Yeah, I'll know it when you say it. it was, I know it was Booker, Blackman, and one other like shooting guard. That was Rashad Vaughn, was it? No. I want to say it started with a B, too. I think they were three Bs. Because I remember my dream was get all three, and it's triple Bs. It started with a B. Hmm. In my head, it did. It might not have. Anyways, B- can I... Uh, was it BJ Stiff or Phil Booth? It was not either of those guys. Do I... Can I come clean, though? Wade Baldwin. No. Can I Can <laughs> I come, Can I I come? clean? Yeah. I think I might have had a part in Devin Booker not committing to Michigan State. Worst state fan of all time. I've told this story before on the pod, but I, I feel bad now that I actually heard this. Uh, Devin Booker was on his official visit to Michigan State, and it was a Friday night. I remember it very vividly at a house party. I could tell you the house on campus. I was with Mal, my now wife, and we were meeting like Spencer Rosecrans and all my roommates, Louis Savona. And uh, there's a big like backyard, and you walk out on the deck. And the first thing I see when I walk out on the deck is Devin Booker with like two Michigan State GAs. Now, Devin Booker's a high school senior at this point, and nobody at this house party knows who he is, except for me, because I've been in the UM Hoops forums dialed in that Devin Booker's my priority 1A recruit. So uh, I had had probably like a fifth in me at this point, and I just remember very drunkenly walking up to Devin Booker and just hitting him with a, a book, (laughs) and he looks up. And I went in for the dap and I got a nice clean dap. And I was like, how's it going? Like, you you liking the visit? And he was like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's what's up. And I was like, that's what's up. That's what's up. And I just walked away. But uh, <laughs> maybe he had thought that was really weird because like a week later, he immediately committed to Kentucky. <laughs> Thanks a lot, G. I tried, man. I tried. Was it Kid or Beast Diop? Yeah, it was Beast Diop. Was it? Yeah. They they wanted they wanted Bates Diop Booker and Blackman. That twenty fourteen class was really good. Yeah, and both of our teams struck out. You ended up with Tom Tom Marvin Clark and Javon Bass, and I, I don't remember. I think we got Aubrey Dawkins, and <laughs> it stunk, man. God, it's that time, Cart. Football season is approaching, and you know exactly what that means. It means that we are both going to bet and bet a lot. With our friends at MyBookie. Yeah, MyBookie is the best and premier sports book used by us over here at Sleepers Media. They have everything you need, Greg. With football season approaching, there's nothing I love more than looking at a nice Saturday slate and even leading into a little bit of Sunday, dipping into the NFL. But there's no better place to do it than with MyBookie. And I think we got a great offer for the folks over uh, at MyBookie if they want to tap in with us. We sure as hell do, and I'm going to tell you all about that offer, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the great benefits of betting with MyBookie. MyBookie is safe, secure, most importantly, when you win, you get paid quick. If the first two legs of your parlay hit, cash out early, use those funds on another bet, or let it ride for a chance at a bigger payday. With football season coming, they're going to have a bunch of great things in store for you, whether you're looking to bet futures, game lines, player props, all of it is available with our friends at MyBookie, and you can get a 50% deposit match up to $1,000. There's a link in this description, promo code SLEEPERS. With MyBookie, make sure you get that 50% deposit match. Use those funds. Maximize your chances of winning as football season gets here, and we'll be there with you every single step of the way. 